if she says she found the beef in spaghetti sauce. Star Trek will not be presented tonight so that we may bring you the following special program. Now, a special program in living color on NBC. And this is Barast Wilderness. It's very good to see me. Perhaps the most insultingly mysterious of all the wonders Barast Wilderness has to explore is the fleshy known only as the Magician. Very little is understood about this sweaty specimen or his behavior in the wild, and virtually no footage of the creature has ever existed. Until now! Come with us as we bring you an exclusive look at this dangerous creature on tonight's Barast Wilderness. A solitary predator, the magician is wary of camera crews, but unafraid of drunken unicyclers whom we must mimic to remain unobserved. The creature prefers to hunt in Tuscan villas and Austrian diamond mines, but the call of flashing lights and shiny things, the electronic beep-boop noises, is far too powerful for him to resist. This arcade slash bar, or arcar as the fleshies call it, is the urban oasis most promising of an easy kill. From this vantage, we see the creature begin his display. Let's watch. And don't they look thrilled? Can you take one card for me? The one that you like? And your card is magically risen to the top! It's amazing! It's that your card art. That would have been awesome. I have been working on reading faces. Um, so by saying the words black, red, black, red, black, red. I'd be able to tell that your card is a black card, but you don't have to say yes or no, because that would, you know, 50-50 chance. <laughs> Just like if I was to say spades, clubs, spades, clubs, spades, clubs. So if your card is a club, again, you don't have to say yes or no. But I do want you to imagine a long string of all the cards, king, queen, jack, ten, all the way down to the ace. creature then goes outside to engage in the most favored of fleshy nonsense, smoking and fashion. Um, I'm just gonna reach down here. Woohoo! I'm gonna make a little hole in your shirt. Okay? I'm gonna take a cigarette and do the shirt. And so, we leave this majestic creature in the gutter where we found him. One of the last of his kind. The wrong answer to a question no one asked. Truly, he is around five foot ten. That's all for this evening. It's been your pleasure. 
I'm Professor Puppet Face. Good night.